Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm going to be going over the Toshiba Excite uh, benchmark test. Now we're going to be using Quadrant and Intuitu. And it says I have a Tegra 3 processor, so it should do uh, fairly well on these tests. Now we're going to go right into Quadrant. Um, I already loaded the uh, specs just in case any of you guys want to see. So I'll zoom in a little bit more. And just so you guys can see how those are, let me zoom in even a little bit more. Alright. And go over the GPU with you guys. There you go. Sorry about the blurness. And that's all the main stuff. Now let's go back. And I should run the full benchmark test. Now hopefully we'll go through all the way this time. Um, I tried it a little um, bit ago and it kind of uh, got stuck on me. Which is obviously not a good sign. So hopefully this time it'll be able to go through it uh, fairly quickly. And the curious thing uh, to note is um, how this uh, test will do against the Asus Pad 300 and also the Acer A510. Uh, that are the two main tablets that this one is competing with in terms of benchmarks just because they all should have about the same processor speed. Slightly different versions of the Tegra 3 but they're all Tegra 3 nonetheless. So it should be interesting how uh, it goes especially since this one is at 449 uh, which is on par with the Acer A510, but about $70 more compared to the 16 gig Asus Pad 300. Which um, definitely just kind of, we'll see how it uh, goes in sales. Last year, Toshiba and Acer made the same mistake of being uh, priced higher compared to the Asus, and they never sold till they actually dropped in price to $399 uh, to match the Asus price. So it'll definitely be interesting to see if uh, it'll be the same way this time. Or uh, if, you know, customers find more value in this one over the Asus Pad 300. Definitely so far, uh, definitely looks really nice comparing to it. Oh, another thing I did notice when holding this tablet in portrait compared to um, other tablets is it is a 16 by 10 ratio which definitely has felt really uh, nice to hold especially when uh, putting in portrait mode. Uh, definitely noticed that it was uh, a lot nicer to hold than other Android tablets under 16 by 9. So um, just something I noticed while using it. Alright now uh, compare to other devices so it still clocks a little bit less than the Prime Although on CPU, it's pretty much on par with the Prime, where it kind of uh, fades away is at the uh, I.O. Uh, memory. And that's about it. It actually has a better 3D graphics uh, score than the other two. So uh, definitely really good overall. And um, the score, of course, is, just so you guys can see, going to be 35, 37. Alright guys, uh, that was the Quadrant. Now let's check out, and I'll close that, uh, let's check out the Intuitu. Now let's test it. But uh, from what I was saying earlier, uh, the bezel is definitely bigger. Uh, that's an unfortunate part about this tablet. But the 16 by 10 ratio is really nice. Um, I actually probably prefer it over even 16 by 9. I think it would be really good for tablets to kind of make a thinner bezel and have a 16 by 10 ratio. It just seems to be like the perfect medium between the old 4 by 3 that iPad uses 
and the new 16x9 that uh, Android uses. Just because uh, TV uh, movies are actually filmed in 16x10 most of the time than 16x9, so this should actually fill up videos even better than the 16x9 ratio. And definitely it just it felt comfortable to hold. Um, when sideways, it feels about this, uh, similar to most Android tablets, um, but it is a bit uh, more pushed in just because the height is greater um, going this way because of the 10 by 16. Uh, so it's actually a little bit taller, but a little bit more pushed in, uh, which I would like to see basically um, kind of a thinner bezel compared to it. But... Uh, definitely nice to hold in terms of uh, portrait compared to other Android tablets. Which, we'll see how it goes just because, you know, typically 16 by 9 is how Android, um, the operating system is made to look like. So we'll see how it goes that of all games and things like that are look okay at that ratio. And so far it's handling the, oops, let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. So far, it's handling the frames per second uh, very well off. And the colors as well. Let's see how it does this frame rate. And really good, it looks like, right away. Just kind of uh, taking all very smooth looking coming to an end and those are the results so in terms of the CPU and GPU it actually got an award so um, it looks like it scored pretty well off RAM is Interesting, they should have one gig of RAM, but it's showing two. I mean, that was just a score. Uh, but I'll look into that more so. Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys so you guys can see the results exactly. having a bit of focus issues today. Um, in terms of the scores though, really well off. Uh, definitely looks like a high score. Now I'm going to go check that in a second. Um, the CPU clocked in at 1.3. Um, so let's check out the results. So this device uh, scored pretty much on par with the Asus Prime, um, which if I remember correctly was much better than the Asus Pad 300 and the Acer A510. So um, pretty good overall. Um, what did it lose to the Asus Prime in? It actually beat the Asus Prime in uh, certain aspects even. With the exception of the yellow, which is looks like the database. Um, other than that, it looks like it's right on par with the Asus Prime, if not a little bit better in certain aspects. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, definitely good and well off in comparison. I'm just gonna go under device info real quick and system info for you, and then wrap it all up. It didn't find anything on it. Oh wait, there you go. 
So, just the basics on what it is. And then there's system info. One thing I was just curious about. Okay. For some reason, I guess it was the score of the RAM. Uh, I just got confused by that just because I saw two uh, gigs and I was confused. But it is one gig of RAM. And just so you can see all the specifications. Alright guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask, and uh, remember to ask any questions that you want to see on the full review test. Alright, this has been RICKY, the Android guy.